Hey guys, so welcome to this unboxing for a JB Action Clamp and Gorilla Pod arm. I also bought this suction cup and Gorilla Pod arm. You can see that in a separate unboxing video, possibly. Um, so let's just open this up and see what you get. So I might be filming at an event soon and they want a time lapse video clip. So I thought I could use my Gear 360, which um, screws off here. And then you can put uh, the attachment using that. So you've got two options. You can either have it with the Gorilla Pod arm or a lock locking a lock bar thing. I think with the Gorilla Pod you can get a nicer angle of shot, but it's less um, stable. I think the locking arm it's more if you're putting it on a car. Um, this one you you put it on something static, obviously like a whatever this um, uh, road safety sign so with this you've got two ends you've got a quarter inch screw on each so effectively this it doesn't matter which end you use they both fit on the camera and in the photo it's like this which you can probably see there like that and then you screw this on try not to get my fingers on the lens with this one it's quite difficult to do this is like a giant eyeball and there you go I mean you could actually use that as a nice little grip walking around somewhere but likewise yeah you can just clamp that onto something um, let's just say this is a road sign fig see how uh, so this goes like that. This bit doesn't lock for some reason, but we'll try it on this as a demonstration. So that's quite tight. And yeah, that, that sticks that up to the, I guess that moves, this bit moves this to the top where it stops. So yeah, that is uh, pretty stable. So, and then you can, I guess, adjust it like that. I've never used a Gorilla Pod arm before, but that is quite nice. It's got a nice firm feel to it. You get quite a range of movement there. So that's quite, Good actually. You can stick some cameras around, have maybe like a big brother uh, thing, recording of your life going on. Um, so with this one, you get the suction cup method of doing things. Um, I think maybe the Gorilla Pod arm is interchangeable between the clamp. I'm not sure, so maybe I could have just bought the actual suction cup for this one. So this is what you get, this is essentially it. So it just, it's on a lucky, you can stick it on a window, maybe a bus stop somewhere, a, wind, a car door, anything that is suction cup or ball. Proper use, swipe it before you use it. So straight off the bat, this isn't as long as this one. Oh, it is. Is it? Yeah. Same size as the one that comes with the clamp. So you could just get, if you wanted both, you could just get one of these uh, screws on like this. You get this as well, which is a uh, little um, one of these, whatever that is, uh, you screw it on. A little eyeball and then that sucks on that's what she said and um, how I'm not quite sure let's read let's RTFM on this step one stick it in let's turn it around so that locks it ah uh, there we go it's quite a firm thing you've got to put on there so that uh, 
doesn't quite work, does it? So this basically locks it. So when it locks it, this goes down. I don't know if you can see that. Lock, off, on, off. So there we go, you can stick it on a tree. You can stick it on a boat. Doggy. Skateboarding. Motorbiking. Uh, that's that's the locking arm there, which I think you use if you're using like a um, a fast-moving vehicle. If you need extra stability, you got a limited range of movement on the uh, limited range of angles. Um, so that's why I've gone with the Gorilla Pod because it is just like a time lapse of a of a uh, conference meeting. Nothing uh, it's too special. I might use the suction cup or the clamp depending on where I am, uh, what's available to me. You can go underwater, you got a selfie stick thing, you got that, you got a guy on the skateboard. I mean it's pretty self-explanatory, this just locks on, lock off, but it, obviously you probably need to use it on something else. I've got a metal filing cabinet here, I'm just going to try it on this. As you can see here, I've locked it on here, metal filing cabinet. And it's, yeah, that is pretty secure. You got quite a lot of movement here in terms of shots. So if we had it like that, you can sort of do it like that. You can do an upside down shot, probably like that. If you were so inclined. You go up there, you can do it. That's pretty much it really, isn't it? It's a little bit, it can screw off as well. This, I'll demonstrate that. There we go, it screws off so you can just leave it on there if you wanted to.